Hello and welcome to this tutorial in the A10. This tutorial assumes basic knowledge of flight and navigation found in the previous tutorials in the series. Today we'll be looking at the AGM-65 Maverick missile. Give me a moment to get airborne and I'll talk more about it. Just request a takeoff clearance from the tower. One, request takeoff. Enfield 1 1, tower, you are clear for takeoff. Advancing throttles to, to full. And our dials are holding steady, so wheel brake released. And we are rolling. Gear coming in. And flaps to zero degrees. OK, a little bit of information on the mission. We've received reports of enemy ground units moving to fortify a crossroad to the south of here. Our targets are two mobile anti-air units and one military bunker. For this mission, I'll be using both the AGM-K TV guided and AGM-D infrared guided versions of the Maverick to show you the differences between the two. Normally, dependent on the situation, you generally select one or the other for the mission. I'll explain which you'd select for certain scenarios in a few moments. On our left wing, you can see the AGM-65K TV guided missile, and on the right wing, you can see we have two AGM-D infrared guided versions of the Maverick. Our target area is out there somewhere, and I'll be making a uh, turn to the right shortly to begin setting up for the attack run. Let's make that turn now. And then we can begin setting up. Okay, firstly we'll need to enter air to ground mode with the 7 key and select Maverick missiles by cycling through armaments with the D key. We'll take a look at the infrared missile first. Notice the monitor has come to life and the HUD has changed. This circular addition to the HUD is the target designator and represents what the missile is seeing here in the monitor. We can slew the designator around the HUD with the semicolon, comma, full stop and forward slash keys. Notice how the monitor is correctly displaying what the designator is looking at at a magnified level. We currently have the AGM-D infrared missile selected. The image we are seeing on the monitor is an infrared one and thusly not affected by barriers such as poor visibility. The added benefit is that the missile has an increased rate of magnification than that of the TV Maverick. We can zoom in and out with the plus and minus keys. Okay, I've switched to the AGM-K TV guided missile now. 
While this missile only has one level of magnification, it offers a clearer picture of the terrain and the target than that of the AGM-D. It is best suited for clear and light conditions when a more clear image is required. Okay, I'm making a turn now towards the target area and have reselected AGM-D Mavericks. We'll attack the mobile anti-air units first and then we'll switch to the AGM-K TV guided Mavericks to attack, to attack the uh, bunker. As we approach the target area, we'll scope the area using the designator. Uh, it can be useful to find roads to follow, if you know the targets on a road for example. In this case, it is likely that the mobile units we are targeting are in fact going to be using a road, as intelligence states that they're guarding a crossroad. I can see a road down there, so I'll uh, slew the designator to follow it. As you can see the road there. I can just start to make out a column of vehicles that may well be what we're looking for. Yes, I can see much more clearly now. A line of five vehicles down there and our targets are the mobile anti-air. I think I can see one by its radar dome on the top. Okay, yes, I can definitely make out that that's a Shilka AAA and therefore one of our targets. Let's proceed to lock onto it by guiding the crosshairs over the target and tapping the tap key. This will lock the designator in place. The crosshairs will snap onto a nearby target if we haven't quite got it centered like so, and the cross here is flashing which tells us we are in range and have authorization to fire. Okay, let's go ahead and do that now with the enter key, missile away. We'll make a hard turn away, although we're far out of range of anything down there, it's good practice to get into the habit of getting away quickly after deploying arm ordnance. A lot of the time you'll be engaging targets with a far greater range, such as a mobile SAM unit, and their missiles will be coming up to greet you. Okay, with the target behind us, let's see how the missile's getting on. It's looking good. And that's a direct hit. Scratch one shell go. Okay, we're just putting a bit of distance uh, between us and the target. And then we'll swing round and come in for another attack. make a left turn and come around now. I'll just decrease my uh, throttle just so we don't close the distance too quickly. I still have one more AGM-D left so we'll scope the column again for any more uh, shilkers that might be down there. Intelligence did say that there are two anti-air units, so there should be another one down there. Okay. Just scoping the column again. I think I can see a, uh, another shilker down there. So I'll lock onto that with the tab key. If 
flashing cross, so just we're in range and have authorization. Missile away. Throttle up, turning sharply away again. Putting distance between us and the target. Let's see how this one gets on. Ooh, looks like that shell could try to do, shoot down our missile. Bad luck for them. Scratch another shelker. Okay, now that the anti-air threat is taken care of, let's come around and attack the bunker with an AGM. KTV guided missile. As we have no more AGMDs left, the AGMK has been automatically selected. This diamond on the hood represents a target that I have designated in the mission editor. This is to make the target clearer for us. I could have designated the vehicles as targets as well, but often you won't have that luxury, and you will have to scope out the target yourself, just as we have today. Okay, I can see the bunker clearly now. So I'm just going to maneuver and lock onto that. Like so, a flashing cross. We are in range and have authorization. Missile away and turning sharply away. There's nothing down there that can shoot at us, but we do need to just keep out of range of anyone that might want to take a pot shot with a handgun. Oh, boom! I do believe we just hit the bunker. Target destroyed. Okay, that's our mission complete. So let's head for home. And that concludes this tutorial on the AGM Maverick missile. The next tutorial will be on bomb targeting and deployment. If you'd like to join me on that tutorial, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Thank you, it's been my pleasure.